This hand is created to grasp. When it stops grasping, that means something is wrong with it. These eyes are created to see. When they cannot see anymore, something is wrong with them. Similarly, this heart is created and it has a task. If it does not fulfill it, there's something wrong with it. What is the task? This task is to love and yearn to be in the company of Allah Azza wa Jalla. To love what Allah loves to work in everything that pleases him. This is the task of the heart. There are six signs of Qalb Salim. There are six signs of a sound heart. First, this heart is away from the dunya and residing in the akhirah. What does it mean that this heart is attached to the akhirah? The owner of this heart, whenever he wants to take any action, any decision, is it pleasing to Allah? Bismillah. And if it's not, Wallahi, if there is a five, ten million dollar gain, he will say no. That does not mean that this person is abandoning the dunya. No, no, no. <laughs> this person has a very good job. This person, he volunteers all the time. This person donates. But all of them, with the mindset, they are for the pleasure of Allah Azza wa Jalla. Second, the owner of this heart is always worried about his or her intention. Why did I donate? Why am I growing my beard? Why I'm studying this major? Why did I go and I help that sister, that brother? Why? Always, always worried. Is that amal sincerely for Allah or no? I'm just showing off. He's always worried. That's a healthy heart. The one who's, no, 100% this is sincere. Not sincere. Just like someone who say, I'm 100% not munafiq. That's the definition of a munafiq. Third, the owner of this heart is in constant remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal. We can transform every action that we do into an act of worship. Even if I go to the supermarket, if I say to myself, I'm going to the supermarket to buy the milk and the food and the groceries for my family because I am the father of this family and that is my responsibility. The trip back and forth to the supermarket is an act of worship. If I go to school, to the university and I register and I pick the major of medicine and before I pick medicine, I say, Ya Allah, I am majoring in medicine so I can help humanity and whomsoever comes to me, I cannot afford it. I promise you, Ya Allah, that I'm going to take care of them. All my 9, 10, 11 years of education is ibadah because I sat down for literally 30 seconds and purified my intention. This is a person with a qalb salim. Constant remembrance of Allah Azza wa Jal. Fourth, there's something in Arabic called word. Word is a certain time or a certain act of worship that I will not let the day go by without finishing it. Okay, for example, my word is to read a one juz a day. My word is to say subhanallah 500 times. If he misses his word as if he lost all his wealth. We have people now missing fard, missing fard and nothing shakes. So the owner of the sound heart, he cries if he misses a sunnah. Forget about fard. Fifth, the owner of the sound heart is very, very stingy when it comes to time. He has no time to just sit down and vain talk. Rasulullah said, Ni'matan. There are two blessings that people do not appreciate health and free time. Number six, the owner of this heart is very, very cautious and concerned about salat. The owner of this heart, nothing, no one, nobody will stop him from the salat time. Now we have many people, unfortunately, kaza. When I go home, I will pray them all at night before I sleep. And unfortunately, he or she thinks that they are praying. They're not praying. When the time for the Salat comes and you delay it for no valid excuse, what are you saying? You are saying, Ya Allah, I have no time for you right now. When I have time, I will pray. Wait, what else does it mean? If you are really worried and you heard Allah said in Surah Maryam, the ayah right after the sajda, فَخَلَفَ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ خَلْفٌ أَضَاعُوا الصَّلَاةِ وَاتَّبَعُوا الشَّهَوَاتِ فَسَوْفَ يَلْقَوْنَ غَيَّةِ There will come a time that people will أَضَاعُوا he did not say they do not pray. That's a different story. That's a different topic. Adaa'u salat They postponed Dhuhr for after Asr came for no reason. They postponed Maghrib till Isha for no reason. What happened to them? فَسَوْفَ يَلْقَوْنَ غَيَّ They will go to a place called Ghayya. What is Ghayya, Ya Allah? It's a place in Jahannam that the rest of Jahannam ask Allah to protect it from. 
كبيرة إلا على الخاشعين. Allah said the salat is very heavy except on the people who have khushu who have people who have fear of Allah عز وجل. And Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم told us the heaviest salat on the hypocrite is fajr and isha in jama'ah. And Allah told us رجال رجال لا تلهيهم تجارة ولا بيع عن ذكر الله وإقام الصلاة. The real true men, not the male, the true men, nothing, nothing will make them miss the remembrance of Allah or performing the salat. The salat is the daily measurement of our iman. You want to check your iman? Check how are you in your salat. How concerned you are. Allahumma rizuqna qalban saliman. Ya Allah, I beg you to bless us all with a, with a sound heart. 